Hi, Damien Mason coming to you from my hotel room on this World Soil Day. That's right, December 5th, according to the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization, is indeed World Soil Day. So I'm posing the question to all of us in the business of agriculture. If you're watching this, you presumably have an interest in food, fuel, fiber, farming, and therefore you have a great interest in soil. I've posed a question before. Does the business of agriculture sometimes uh, find itself being guilty of treating soil like dirt? You know, I think we do. I think we have some erosion issues that are unrectified. I think we sometimes compact it. We till it too much. We mistreat it. And let's face it, it's our most precious asset. It's our most valuable resource. Most people that uh, are in farming, uh, the bulk of their their holdings, their their assets are indeed in dirt. So do we treat it correctly? And I'd say that sometimes we don't. So the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization has this big day and they talk about what's happening in third world countries. And I find it interesting because generally the FAO, while it's got really good stats and data, is sometimes critical of modern agriculture, like we have here in North America, Western Europe, parts of South America, of course, Australia, and they sometimes are guilty of being a large bureaucracy that's well-funded but doesn't accomplish much. And they sometimes rail against what we do in modern agriculture. For instance, it was the FAO that talked about uh, greenhouse gases from modern livestock production. So I, I bristle a little bit at this uh, World Soil Day and talking about degradation and desertification of soils and how we need to do something about it when modern agriculture is the institution, the organization, the technological advancement, the people we should be turning to to protect our precious soil asset. Uh, there's a couple of things. We know that erosion is a big problem, uh, compaction is a big problem, but look at what we're doing. And then, of course, can we be doing more? And I think that we can. We've got things like uh, buffer strips. We've got things like reduced tillage. But I think over the next 10 years, we're going to see less tillage. And we probably need to. Uh, I believe that we need to increase our organic matter as best we can because of the ability then for that soil to hold the water. Uh, a couple of things I came up with. The UNFAO says that 10 million earthlings have been displaced and had just abandoned where they lived because of degradation of the soil. And then, of course, with an alarmist tone, they said that in 60 years, much of Earth's soil will be degraded to the point where it's no longer capable of producing food for humans. Now, I disagree with that completely because I know the things that we're doing, and I believe we will do it even better. Look at what Grandpa did. It was Grandpa and Great Grandpa that gave us the Dust Bowl. We have now buffer strips. We now have fence rows and wind protection. We have cover crops, which will increase. I absolutely believe cover crops are the future of all agricultural output. And the other thing I wanted to point out was there was a, a, a cause. I saw this online. Do we need more regulation? And I bristle at this because there really is a push among people like the UNFAO and cause groups that don't like modern agriculture saying, is it time to regulate how soils are managed? Now, should we also regulate how people invest? Should we also regulate, and I'm not talking about protecting them, I'm talking about regulate how they invest, whether they put their money into a jar in their backyard versus putting it into a hedge fund or speculative mutual funds. I don't push for, nor do I want to see, a regulatory environment that involves me having to tell the government what I'm going to do with my soil, or worse yet, the government telling me how to manage my soil. We already have a pretty good system in place. Places like the United States have the uh, Natural Resource Conservation Service, where we work cooperatively together to achieve uh, long-term soil health and natural resource conservation. Uh, one other thing that I didn't like, and, but I, I will say this. As the articles went on about National World Soil Day, pardon me, that we will see more regulation. And I do say, as much as I bristle at it, I think this is probably true. Why? Because, as you've heard me say before, we now live in affluent countries where environmentalism has taken on a religious-like devotion. Everything's about sustainable and what you're doing for the environment. Whether it's true or not, whether it's factually or scientifically accurate, our consumers want to believe that they are doing something good for the environment. It's a very devoted cause, if you will. And food waste is something we're going to see. Uh, fuel consumption is something we're going to see. And maybe how we handle our soil. I'm in Calgary right now for the Farm Forum event where I'm a speaker. And last year at this very event where I was hired to speak, I sat through a session about carbon management, where the government will let you voluntarily sign up, where you get incentivized to 
be approved for how you manage your soil. And we're talking about how, by, how big the slits are, how deep the tillage is, how much land you leave open, etc. So I don't know that we're going to see this happen uh, across all of the countries, but I do believe that more regulation is coming because, again, environmental causes are really, really taking on a fever pitch. I'm Damian Mason. I talk about the business of agriculture, and the one thing I would like to say on this World Soil Day as much as we might uh, uh, love the little stories at the farmer's markets about the man and his pitchfork out there in his bib overalls with his chickens and his one acre of strawberries, that will not feed seven and a half billion people. If we do indeed worry about desertification and degradation of our world's productive and arable soils, the best chance we have is through modern agriculture. The same modern agriculture that is taking elements of organic with the best technology of GMO and innovation and fusing them together to give us greater returns with less natural resources. Hope you join me in this thought and also thank you for watching on this video right now on this World Soil Day. Remember, without soil, there is no us. It's our most precious asset in agriculture, but it's also, as humans, our most valuable resource.